Welcome back. It's me. Okay, we have another guest. And today we have Taylor Williamson. This is when you come in. Good job. Thanks. I didn't know when to come in, so you told me not to come in earlier. So I came in when you told me to come in. Yeah, so when I introduced you to come in. And right, right. And I said your name. Right. And it felt like you didn't even know what your name was. I know my name, but you didn't ask me to come in. Um, I have the drugs you requested. Oh, thank you. I tricked you. You don't have them. I don't. That's not and nice. And that's going to look really bad for you because you're that's you admitting you're doing drugs. You're the criminal here. I literally set you up. I was the informant. You said I have the drugs that you wanted, not here's the drugs you purchased that are illegal. I said you requested. You said wanted. I didn't. I said roll requested. The tape back? Let's roll the tape back. I have the drugs you requested. Oh, thank you. <sighs> um, what do you do? I'm a comedian. That's funny. You ever watch stand-up comedy? Nope. Oh. Did you go to college? A little bit, yeah. What do you mean a little bit? I went to college. And you didn't graduate? Yeah. Ooh. Dropped out. Oh. Ugh. Yeah. Is that why? I'm sorry? What? I got, on t I got on television. I got on television a few times and I was like, I don't need this. And how did that work out? It's good. <laughs> it's going great. <laughs> I got invited to be on your show. Is this, is this a show? This is, yeah, this is a show. This, yeah. this will be seen by millions. Millions of people? No, they're bots. Mm. Yeah. Are they attractive least, bots? Yeah, they're hot. AI is hot now. Listen, like if you could date an ugly person or like a, who's not nice to you, mm -hmm. an ugly person who's not nice to you or, or a very attractive AI bot who's very kind to you, which would you pick? Are you okay? Do you, are people not nice to you? People are nice to me. Oh, but you have... Look all the comments, don't you see? Mm. Did you go to college? This is an interview for you so mm. this is supposed to help your career not mine i see yeah i'm doing you a favor did you go to high school what are you gonna teach me i could teach you how to write a joke do you want to learn how to write a joke yeah i should go for it <clears throat> just think of a topic so we have to do is it's like truth you make a true statement, and then mm -hmm. you say something afterwards that's true or, or exaggerated. Ebola. Something that's fun for you, Ebola. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, tell me something. Is there something personal to you? Like, would you be like a comedian who tells about personal experiences? If I had a, I didn't have Ebola. Right. No. Could you write a joke about how you didn't have Ebola? Okay, I didn't have Ebola. Okay, that's a great premise. That's like, And that was my joke. See, that, that would be the joke. <laughs> that would be the joke if you actually had Ebola. See, like, that would be funny if, like, if you walked on stage and you were currently infected with Ebola. I think I would be dying. You know, not, you could be, you could survive Ebola, thank God. I don't think you can walk out on stage you while you have Ebola. I think that you'll be, like, bedridden. It's like, poor form. I have a friend, my friend Beth went bowling with a guy who had Ebola. But well, he was like he had... okay, but he still had. I think I don't remember the whole story. I have to call her, but like, it had... what's her last name? Because we need to figure this out. I'm not gonna call her out on this famous Beth. video. Did they kiss? I mean, they went bowling, so obviously, yeah. you can't bowl with someone without kissing them afterwards. Have you ever been bowling? Yeah, I have. You... I'm not good at it. I have bad depth perception. Do you truly? I do. I have an a stigma, a stigmatism. An astigmatism. Are you speaking Spanish? <laughs> I have an uh, astigma. I don't know I did an Italian accent, but is that... I don't know if you can do the Italian accent anymore. Is that, that racist? Was, that was racist. I'm keeping that in. I'm looking to be canceled. I, I know a guy who got canceled and he gained 100,000 followers and he's making thousands of dollars. Like He's, he's selling thousands of tickets, making tens of thousands of dollars every day. So he's um, He's doing well. I met him. You're good friends. Not good friends. That's what I heard. Well, you may have hearing problems also. And that's going to get you canceled too. Actually, won't because I truly have hearing problems. I had a tumor when I was a kid. So I have very poor hearing in this ear. I have a titanium thing in here. 
That's why you're in love with robots. I'm not in love with robots. You never made love to a robot? No. Christian? Mormon. Mm. Mm. Respect. <laughs> Is that why you didn't go to college because you were a missionary? That's a good story. No. Uh. I could just say it. What? that's why. Right. And that could be part of the joke. Could be, say, I didn't go to college because I was going on a Mormon mission and I got Ebola. That was so good. That was really good. I feel like, like you said, you encouraged what I said was a joke, but I yeah. tricked you and I, and I know that wasn't a good joke. You want to do a classic? Yeah, go for it. You can try. What's like a Mormon stereotype that everyone knows? The magical underwear, the undergarments. Great. Great. Um, so what's your name? Stephanie. Hi, I'm Stephanie. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm Mormon. I'm Mormon. And I also have Ebola. And I also have Ebola. I know what you're thinking. That's, so that's the setup. It's a lot it of just setup. feels like I shouldn't have to repeat after. I feel like I'm a child. You said you want help writing a joke. Yeah, I don't need voice inflection lessons. I didn't do that. But you're telling me to repeat it. To be fair, you asked, I think, I don't know if I told you to repeat it, you just started doing that. I don't remember, I don't recall saying so. Let's roll that back. Repeat after me. So uh, you go, hi, I am Veronica. Hi, I'm Veronica. And I'm Mormon. And I'm Mormon. Um, and I also have Ebola. And I also have Ebola. I know what you're thinking, is she going to, when she's buried tomorrow, is she going to be wearing <laughs> her magic underwear? I mean, I would rather, I prefer you go to the doctor and not have a, Punchline. No, I'll do it again. I got it. Okay. You go, hi, hi I'm Kathy. I'm, I'm Kathy. And I have, I'm Mormon. I'm Mormon. And I have Ebola. And I have Ebola. So I know what you're thinking. So I know what you're thinking. I better call Mitt Romney and ask him to get to put in the word for me so I can get access to a really good doctor who can help me recover from this possibly deadly uh, situation that I'm in. That was a really long punchline. But it's thoughtful, too. It's th no one's feelings are being hurt. It's I don't know. I got really bored. Do you know who Mitt Romney is? My dad. Is that your father? Hi, Daddy. That's kind of weird. Is there another famous Mormon? Johnny Osmond. Okay. Okay. So, do you want to do the same joke? But so We're doing the same joke again? Well, it's the same, then... same setup. Why don't you just say the punchline? Because I don't want to have to go through this and change my name every single time. We could write a different joke if you want. No, what's the punchline for the Donny Osmond? It's a similar one. I hope Donny Osmond, I know you're thinking, I hope she knows Donny Osmond and can call him and try to use some of his show, bu show business connections to get him to a really good doctor who's probably Jewish. Because the best doctors are Jewish. I can say that because I'm Jewish. But in this scenario, I'm not Jewish. No, but that's why you're hoping that Donny Osmond has... It's more likely you have connections to a, 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 a famous Mormon than a, a Jewish doctor. Can I ask you a serious question? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it inappropriate? Can I ask you to like roll up your sleeve like the hair? You want me to roll up my sleeve? You just do this? Is that inappropriate? I apologize. Please, that's really... please don't tell your husband. I'm sorry. Is that the modern feminist, feminist Mormon? You have multiple husbands instead of they have multiple wives? Yep. I think that's hip. I'm sorry. I'm just stuck on how you're probably a pervert. <laughs> you asked to see my underwear. Yeah. Uh, but I asked. Yeah, that was nice. That yeah. was polite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this video is sponsored by my daddy, Donnie Osmond. Wait, is he your daddy or Mitt Romney? I have multiple daddies. That's very progressive. Wow. That might be a smart way to go. Just like think like 30 different sponsors and then mm -hmm. find out which one wants to pay you for it. Okay. Might be easier. And thank you to our sponsor. Who, no, who's the guy from American Idol? They don't like him because he's gay, but what's his name? Clay Aiken. Well, he, they don't like him because he's gay, but there's Randy the other one. Randy Jackson. Jackson. Is he gay? No, I don't know. But there's the guy who's Mormon. Oh, David Archuleta. Right. 
And this video is sponsored by David Archuleta, Mitt Romney, Donnie Osmond, and Taylor Williamson. Thank you so much for your donations and your money. What year will you be passing away? I hope not for a long time. I, I have a, a strong, passionate fear of death. Do you have anything to live for? Like, why do you want, why do you not want to die? I have a chihuahua. Which, how old is that? I know you're a professional comedian now, but no jokes about my chihuahua. Are you going to pass away when your chihuahua passes We're gonna away? We're going to be buried. We agreed to be buried together. It was consensual? Yeah. I mean, what? Okay, pretend like you have a lie detector on you. Are you having a really good time? Um... Yes. And it will zap you if Ow. you're lying. Ow. That's what you get for lying. Which camera do it's I look like, into when I'm just like, how do I get out of here? You, this one. Am I doing it wrong? Yeah, don't look at, no one can see you in that one. Should we get a few takes of me being upset because I felt like that a lot and I just didn't look at the right yeah, camera? Yeah, you didn't look at the right, yeah. Let's do a little, maybe a cry, a crying. Okay, yeah, that's that's good. What about like um, I'm about to give you so much money? Oh, because I'm Jewish. Is that's that, not. Is that no, what you're saying? No, it's because you're sponsoring my video. Because I'm Jewish, I would you like a offered. Bunch of money. Oh, because I'm Jewish, I'm giving started. you a bunch of money. That's really messed up. I never. It was. I didn't even know you were Jewish. I told you earlier. Or you wouldn't have had me on the show if you knew I was Jewish. Yeah. What? <sighs> Oh, you're done. You're really done this time. Yeah, I'm done because I'm Jewish. I don't think you need to keep doing facial expressions. I think we got all of them. Because I'm Jewish, I only have a few facial what expressions. What year was the first road paved? 2003. I don't know what street... That's a funny answer. I don't know what... That was really funny. I am funny, but I also don't know what street you're talking on about, what country you're I talking the about. the first street. The first of all time? That's what it implies. It doesn't... I need all the information. What year was the first road paved in cement in the world? In cement? Because cement doesn't exist everywhere. I went to Italy. They don't have cement You roads. say cement or is it cement? It's not cement. I'm going to say it. <laughs> Good Lord. What kind of filthy show is this? Is this like an OnlyFans show? It could be. If if OnlyFans want, <laughs> if you want to sponsor this video, DM me and give me some money. Thank you. This <laughs> is not appropriate at all. I apologize. This is my, I have a lot of younger audiences. and How old are they? They're not old enough to watch this show, I just learned. Why is your hero Vladimir Putin? I don't care for him. I don't find the humor in this. It's not humorous. I don't care for him. Okay, I, I don't feel safe in this I don't space. feel safe either. So who is I... the more unsafe one? Because I'm, well, a, is, I'm a woman. This is your home? And you asked to see my underwear. <laughs> In context, it was silliness. And I'm a comedian. I stand by my humor. You stand by that. Okay. Yeah. I'm not You're... waiting for a friend to show up and sit here. Oh, okay. It's... You have a lot of friends that sit right next to you like that? Yeah. What are your um, opinions? I regret doing this interview. That was a question. Doesn't seem like you're sure. I regret doing this interview. Thank you. Well, this has been so fun. Yeah. Yeah. Did you? Did you did Are that... you in pain? <laughs> Are you in pain? Because you said yeah. Um. It looks like you're not even in pain. It I looks wanna... like you love it. You love it. And now I can leave because you clapped. Yeah. Yeah. You can go. Do I get paid? No, you're paying me. Okay. Thank you for watching and you're and thank you. Bye.